Hey guys, Game Runner here to talk about some of the Sniper's class abilities in XCOM Enemy Unknown. So, the Sniper class is, is one that you want to strategically place in the battlefield while you're having com combat um, to be able to pick off enemies from afar. So, a lot of these Sniper abilities um, and loadout, you just got to keep that in mind just to let them do their job um, the, the best that they can with that in mind. So going through some of these abilities, headshot obviously everyone's going to have if they're a sniper. Um, to go to corporal, um, there's squad sight and there's snapshot. I would go with snapshot just because squad sight uh, might be good in certain situations, but I found that a lot of the times when I wasn't able to have that enemy as a target anyway, just from the sniper itself, a lot of times I was far enough away where my accuracy just wasn't going to really be worth taking a shot at them. So something like Snapfire allowing you to continue to move and shoot after is uh, keeps your keeps your sniper mobile and kind of in the fray as you're trying to set up kind of your, um, your, your battle tactics in the moment. Um, it also works really well with some of the later abilities, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, as for Sergeant, um, I... I, cur I went with uh, Damn Good Ground for this playthrough with Witchy, but if somebody else wanted to put time and resource into researching the, uh, you know, the, the, the plasma pistols and improving that through the foundry and really getting that uh, beefed up early on or mid-game, that might be something that you might want to go with um, if it's a, it's a part of kind of your, your combat strategy. Um, I, w I would definitely recommend doing damn good ground just because I keep my sniper far away and let kind of my support, my heavies and my assault do more of the close combat, close combat fighting. Uh, this, it helps a lot. Getting the extra 10, uh, 10 aim and 10 defense against enemies at lower elevation, if you can get your sniper into a strategic spot at higher elevation that they can have a view of the entire battlefield. You really don't have to manage them too much, uh, and just kind of let them pick pick the enemies off from afar. Um, so, when it comes to lieutenant, I went with Battle Scanner for this playthrough with Witchy, but I would not recommend it. It's somewhat glitchy, and you need to be in a within a certain area of the view of the Battle Scanner anyway before it really initiates. So. If it's on a different level, if it's too far away, you don't even get the benefits of what the battle scanner claims to give you here. So too many times in battle I found myself throwing the battle scanner expecting to have a jump on the enemies that couldn't even see me yet, and then I ended up wasting a turn and having to just deal with the consequences of that. Uh, so I would definitely go with disabling shot for this one. It, it's not a huge part of my strategy, but it's a good tool to have uh, kind of in your toolbox for when you're facing something like uh, the heavy uh, heavy muton or some of the floater, like the heavy the heavy floater. Some of those, if you just just have the sniper left and everybody else has taken their turn, and you want to try to try to take them out just for the next round and get make force them to reload to get their their weapon back in. Uh, usable condition then it's definitely something that I was really really happy to have when I did use it uh, for captain I, I chose opportunist uh, to eliminate the aim penalty on reaction shots um, and allow you to get critical hits on those now because my sniper just kind of my gameplay didn't didn't lend itself fully to using this as a huge strategy um, just using uh, uh, Overwatch all the time with my with my sniper, so I would recommend using Executioner, which gives you plus 10 aim against targets with less than 50% health. Now uh, this one, um, it's a good. I'd say it's definitely a good call, especially for the end game when a lot of the enemies you're going up against just have a lot of health. Uh, you're going to be using multiple people shooting at them three, maybe sometimes even four hits just to kill a certain. Uh, a certain enemy this one will really help out just to just to make sure that you put them put them in their grave um, so I would go with executioner for major low profile 
this is one of the most important parts uh, abilities of a sniper this one just keeps keeps your sniper in the fray um, potent getting a little bit closer just giving him more options in the field to move around use partial cover is full really really good ability for sniper um, for colonel in the zone versus double tap uh, this one's kind of a no-brainer for me double tap is 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 a great choice um, you can once you kind of get into more of the, the late mid game and end game uh, and you're equipping your sniper with a plasma sniper rifle uh, the damage you can deal with the double tap uh, shooting two shots one standard one headshot or one of them disabling shot is just really lethal and it's it's something that my sniper was just a, a big part of my end game and so my strategy really revolved around around this specific ability uh, in the zone killing a flank or uncovered target with the sniper rifle doesn't cost an action I mean you get two actions if you don't move with double tap and a lot of times you're not gonna flank an enemy especially with a class such as sniper maybe with the assault um, something like that um, but with this class I I rarely flank somebody um, uncover target maybe some of the time but uh, I would just I would definitely recommend going with double tap with the sniper so let's take a look at loadout so for loadout, um, the armor that I would recommend going with is the Archangel armor. Uh, it gives you a big bump of HP, and it also the jetpack ability to get pretty much wherever you want to put your sniper is just a huge tactical advantage when it comes to combat, um, especially if you unlock advanced flight. It, you can pretty much fly around for half the battle and not worry about wasting up too much of your flight ability um, but this will allow you just to to find the spot um, at higher ground uh, that gives you view of most of the enemies in the area that you're battling it's just a really good pair when it comes to um, the sniper uh, using plasma the plasma rifle I mean this thing is very potent it does a lot of damage in the field uh, the plasma pistol obviously it's a great pair for the for the sniper um, you don't have a lot of options when it comes to your secondary weapon but um, this is really the one that you need to figure out what you want to do tactically um, I usually go with a scope I upgraded my scope through the foundry and it's just a really good it's a really good use of your ability to just pick off enemies from afar while you're in full cover um, or half cover once you have the ability um, once you do have low profile so that's the load this is the loadout I use um, it's gonna kind of depend on your gameplay uh, I definitely I lean toward having a lot of med kits in the field but a scope on someone like a sniper who's not going to be getting up close and personal with the with the enemy I think is a good call Thanks guys for watching the video. This has been Game Runner with a breakdown of XCOM Enemy Unknown Sniper Class.